Okay, fuckers and fuckettes, now I believe the kids got one that's going to be a little bit newer than this. But I had a kid that called me about uh, rectifiers and testing charging systems. Okay. A number one basic thing, you know, if you want to see if it's charging, with the battery in the bike, and the bike a little bit above idle, you know, put your meter on there. If it's throwing over 12.5 and you rev it and it goes up, you're doing good. Suzuki's count on over about 3,500, they'll drop back down a little bit. But as long as they're saying in the really low 13s, if, if they're 12.9 or higher, count of Suzuki is good. Um, Kawasaki, fuck, if it's above what the battery was when you first let off the charger, it's probably charging. Or when you first let off the starter button, you know what I mean. Now, testing these damn things... It's pretty easy. I mean, if you know you've got a charging problem, you're always going to have three AC leads. I don't care if you've got this style or the other style of rectifier. Those three AC leads, if they're within five volts of each other, nine times out of ten, that goddamn stator's good. Your hot lead and your ground, which in this case is a case ground, but your hot lead um, should be throwing over 12. Um... Let's see, I know I've got another one over here. Should have two or three of them. These newer bikes are pretty much the same. Uh, I know there's a rectifier here. Yes, there is. Okay, these newer bikes, nine times out of ten, your two wires by themselves, those are going to be your hot and your ground. Hot ground and then your other three are going to be your AC leads on your connector um, and that, that, if it's the eight wire connector um, and they're not using two in between here these three are probably in the middle or down towards one end um, you don't see that too often usually it's the six wire I always call it the eight wire anyway don't know why I'm kind of redneck but it's bigger than the fucking flat five pin and the flat 5 pin, I don't have to break out because he didn't have one, but the flat 5 pin, it's still the same. Um, this is for stators with rectifiers. And even this Yamaha, oh no, I've already rubbed the one, oh no, I know where the one for that Yamaha is. I know exactly where it is. So I pulled it out and never used it. Now, Yamaha got that funny plug. See that? This is that double plug. And some of these do come in an 8-wire flavor. Okay, those are your three AC leads. Those are the ones you need to worry about. That's your hot and your ground. Those are what you need to worry about. You only need to check the three AC leads and then check the hot. If you got the three AC leads, they're within 5 volts of each other and nothing's coming out of the hot. Okay, 9 times out of 10, it's just your damn rectifier. However, now... Um, because he does have a Kawasaki, um, I have to mention that um, if it does prove to be the stator on a Kawasaki or a Suzuki, um, you're replacing your rectifier too. If it turns out to be your rectifier, just replace your rectifier. But if it turns out to be your stator, replace them both at the same time. Because a new stator will take out an old rectifier in a couple of months and... I can't tell you how many bikes I've bought because somebody thought they had bigger electrical problems than they did and it was really some idiot replaced a stator and two months later the rectifier blew because the new stator took down a weak old rectifier. So I hope I explained that simply enough for the kid. Um, if I didn't, hell, I'll shoot it again. I just, um, I've got a KZ440 close to the front and a KZ400 too, but I believe his 82 should be that flat one up there that I just showed you. Um, and I mean, you can convert these rectifiers too. I move them back and forth all the time. But, alright, we'll holler at you fuckers and fuck it's later because that's the easiest way I can cover that for anyone. And that's pretty general. It covers most of the big four jet bikes and a lot of English and some Italian bikes too. And if you're looking for a video on how to check your regulators and rectifiers on Hardly Abelson's, 
Well, uh, you have my deepest sympathies. I'm sorry to hear you bought one of those things. You'd have been much better off with a victory. We'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.